Okay, so in this question we're given recipes uh, for 12 biscuits, and that's going to be important. Um, but we're also told that Fred wants to make 18 biscuits, uh, complete the new list of ingredients, like the amounts of the ingredients. Um, so I've got to somehow get from 12 to 18 by just timesing or multiplying, sorry, timesing or dividing. Um, so I can't really think of a way to get from 12 to 18 easily without a calculator um, directly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 6 first. I'm going to divide the 12 by 2, so halve it, and then I'm going to times the 6 by 3. And that will get me to 18. Now, some of you might think, well, why can't we just add 6? Proportion doesn't work with adding or subtracting. You've got to times or divide to keep everything into proportion. So what I'm going to do with each of these ingredients is I'm going to halve them to find out what the, the, the um, amounts for six biscuits are. And then I'm going to times them by three to find out the amounts for 18. So half the 84 would be 42. Uh, half the th uh, 60 would be 30. Half the 24 would be 12. Half the 2 would be 1. And now because uh, we've got 12 biscuits here, and we've halved them to make 6. A different way of doing this is just adding them together. 12 plus 6 is 18. So instead of times in the 42 by 3, I could just add it to the 84. So I could just do 84 plus 42, which would be uh, 126. Uh, again, 60 plus the 30, which is 90. Uh, 24 plus the 12, which is 36. And 2 plus the 1, which is 3. So the answers are 126, uh, 90, 36, and 3. Okay, second part of the question says that we've got enough of every other ingredient, but only one kilogram of flour. Now, the first thing to note here is that one kilogram is a thousand grams. So that's really important to know for this. Um, and we need 84 grams. Of, uh, I'm going to do my working up, up, up here, but normally in your exam, make sure you do it underneath the question. Um, so we know that 84 uh, grams gives us enough for 12 biscuits. So I want to work out how much um, one biscuit would be. So I'm going to divide both of those um, by 12. So that I can work out exactly how many um, biscuits I can make. So it's 84 and then divide it by 12, uh, which you can do any method you want. Uh, the answer will be 7 grams. So one biscuit is going to be 7 grams. Uh, and now we've got um, 1,000 grams. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to work out how many 7s there are in 1,000. Um, so we need to do uh, 1,000 divided by 7. And this isn't the only way of doing this. Um, now, to do 1,000 divided by 7, what you could do is just keep going through the 7 times table. You might start off with 7 times 100, which is 700, and keep going there. Or you might use the bus stop method. Um, and there's loads of different ways of doing this question. So I'm going to use the bus stop method. 7s uh, into 1 don't go, so that 1 carries on. 7s into 10 go once, and then we carry the 3. 7s into 30, well, 5 times 7 is 35, and 4 times 7 um, is 28, so it's going to be 4 with 2 carried on. Uh, 7 into 20, well 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 2 is 14, so this could be 2. Now we could carry on and, and push on the um, 6 remaining, but actually it just shows us that we've got 142 whole biscuits and then some biscuits left over at the end. So we're only interested in how many biscuits he can actually make which would be 142, but he might have like some flour left over, but you wouldn't make a biscuit. So the answer is 142.